And with that, I'll turn to Senator Johnson for the ranking member opening remarks, and then I'll introduce the witnesses. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Again, I certainly wish uh, Senator Grassley a full and speedy recovery. Uh, the good news is he is back voting, but uh, just not recovered to the extent to serve as ranking member, so I'm happy to read his opening statement, which starts, Mr. Chairman, the Houthis are firing Iranian missiles at American ships in the Gulf of Aden. They're disrupting global supply chains, forcing international cargo, cargo vessels to sail for days around the Cape of Good Hope. Meanwhile, they're giving Chinese and Russians easy access to the Suez Canal. Instead of discussing the most pressing fiscal or maritime issues, Democrats have elected to hold an ocean warming hearing to scare people about climate change, their 14th climate change hearing. This hearing will be similar to those prior. Democrats cite extreme statistics attempting to justify their climate alarm. Republicans counter with sober facts showing that while climate change poses real challenges, Armageddon isn't around the corner. Human ingenuity and adaptation are the primary answers. Democrats argue for even more climate spending. Republicans note that we can't afford the spending we already have. We point to the impact of inflation and crushing debt on the American people, and how our exploding debt will restrict our ability to respond to future challenges, whether from climate change, war, or economic disaster. Democrats attempt to make a case for climate destruction. Republicans counter with the sober reality of a slightly warming globe, while we've also been just through a record Arctic freeze in much of the nation with over 90 people dying from the cold. As Senator Grassley has said repeatedly, climate change is a problem worthy of our attention. If Democrats want to discuss budgetary proposals related to climate change, we can have that debate. But it's clear they don't. They prefer to spread climate alarm rather than face our fiscal reality, a reality that nonpartisan experts of the Congressional Budget Office and the Government Accountability Office say is, quote, unsustainable, unquote. Today, Democrats will claim that climate change will decimate the ocean economy. The truth is that climate change is a real challenge, but nothing we can't overcome. We don't have oceans in Iowa, but we depend on them to get our goods to market. Global supply chains have proven to be resilient in the face of many obstacles. However, pressing geopolitical risk make trade difficult and more expensive. At a hearing earlier this month on climate risks for municipal bond issuers, witnesses on both sides of the aisle informed us climate change would not upend the municipal bond market. Uh, we look forward to a similar dose of clarity from Dr. Levy and Dr. Frazier, and we welcome all of today's witnesses. I'll only add that uh, I'm not a climate change denier. I'm just not a climate change alarmist. Uh, the chairman mentioned testimony before this committee. Well, one of the testimonies was we spent about $5 trillion globally combating climate change. I've asked witnesses, well, have we made a dent in it? Have we, have we you know, moved the curve down? Uh, you throw on top of that the Inflation Reduction Act, the, the $400 billion of, I would say, green energy boondoggle spending. Goldman Sachs actually said that'll cost more like $1.2 trillion. So now we've got about $6.2 trillion. That's a, real, that's a real economic impact. Um, and I would say we haven't seen any benefit from it whatsoever because I don't think there's anything we can do to hold back the tides. But again, looking forward to the testimony and, and entering the discussion.